Dear students, welcome back to the video and in today's video, I am going to discuss one of the important structures that is found in the cell and here it is on your screen and that is ribosomes. So you will learn about what are ribosomes and what are their functions. So let's start the video. Well, first thing first, ribosomes are intracellular structures. It means they are present inside the cell. So they are present inside both types of cells. That is the prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell. Where are they found? They are found in the cytoplasm or they may be found attached to the endoplasmic reticulum and they are making it rough. So rough endoplasmic reticulum. In case of prokaryotic cells, since no endoplasmic reticulum is there, so uh, they are found in cytoplasm. But in case of eukaryotic cell, they are found both in the cytoplasm as well as uh, with rough endoplasmic reticulum. At this point, I just want to add something in the information that these ribosomes can also be found within the cell organelles. Like uh, in case of plants, they can be found in the chloroplast, and in case of animal as well as in plants, they can be found in their mitochondria. So I hope that uh, it is adding to your information. Now, if you look at their composition, then they are made within the cytoplasm. They are made inside the cytoplasm with the help of RNA. Which type of RNA is composing them? So that is ribosomal RNA. And that ribosomal RNA, it combines with different types of proteins and enzymes so that the ribosomes are formed. Uh, if you look at the function, then the ribosomes serve as site of protein synthesis in the cell. So different types of proteins are synthesized by these ribosomes. But how do they actually prepare them? They prepare them on the order of the nucleus. Whatever is instructed by the nucleus, the ribosomes prepare that type of protein. I hope that you have understood it. Okay. So I have added uh, the structure of the ribosome for your understanding, for your ease. So if you look at these structures, then the ribosomes are not bound by or they are not covered by any sort of membrane. So no membrane is there. So they are merely the structures, the cell structures. Okay, if you uh, go deep inside them, so you can see that ribosomes are made up of, in case of eukaryotic cell, they are made up of the small subunit and the large subunit. A small Subunit is 40 Swedbergs in eukaryotes and it is involved in the decoding process of the genetic message that is brought by the messenger RNA to them. And there is uh, the large subunit that is actually resting on the small subunit. So this large subunit is 60 Swedbergs in eukaryotes and this catalyzes the peptide bond formation so that different types of proteins are synthesized by the ribosomes. So uh, here uh, you can see that on this small ribosomal subunit that is uh, a messenger binding site, messenger RNA binding site is present, mRNA binding site is there. So mRNA is basically bringing the DNA template, okay, whatever sort of protein is uh, uh, required by the nucleus uh, for the cell its template is uh, basically the mRNA okay so DNA DNA's template is mRNA it is bringing that instruction to the ribosomes for the preparation of uh, proteins I hope that you understood it so mRNA binding site is present uh, here uh, then you can see here different sites uh, here I didn't mention it is a site is A site, then we have P site, and then we have E site. Now, at the A site, which is uh, actually standing for the amino acid site, amino acid site it accepts the incoming amino acylated tRNA. So the transfer RNA is basically involved in uh, the decoding, and it just involves it, it is involved in translation it is bringing that particular amino acid that is required for the peptide bond formation so uh, this is uh, actually this a site it accepts the incoming amino acylated tRNA then we are having the p site the p is standing here for peptidyl site so it holds the tRNA with the nascent peptide chain so a small 
peptide chains will grow, will elongate into the required peptide that is required for the protein synthesis. So it will make ultimately the protein. Then we are having E site, exit site. It holds the deacylated tRNA before it leaves the ribosomes. So this is how the ribosome has got different sites in order to prepare the particular type of protein. Okay, so how do ribosomes prepare proteins? It says you know that their function is to prepare proteins, to synthesize proteins. So how do they do? Actually, protein synthesis is a very detailed process. I will soon upload the video for protein synthesis. But first, take a simplicity in order to familiarize you with the concept of protein synthesis. I just added uh, uh, its summary, the gist of the protein synthesis. So how do they prepare it? First, the ribosomes read uh, ribosomes. They read the mRNA sequence. Okay, first they are, they are reading it, the code that is brought uh, by the messenger RNA from the nucleus, and then it is decoded. That it, is, it means it is translated uh, by them. So they translate that genetic code into a specified string of amino acids. It means they are actually preparing um, the short uh, chains, peptide chains. Then they grow into long chains that fold to form proteins. So this is how the proteins are formed, the complex proteins are formed by the ribosome. I hope that you understood what are ribosomes, what are their structures, and how are they making protein. For more such videos, you can subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, then you must share it with your friends. Go uh, as seekers and increase the knowledge. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.